I'm whipping up some hash browns here and they'll take potato run it through um, the grater this side right there oh missed some potato potato missed the potato and then I put it in the microwave for a minute all right chop some onions up salt pepper a little bit of garlic powder a little bit of paprika butter and my oil mixture which is uh, canola a little bit of light virgin olive oil and a little bit of avocado oil Mo mostly canola and the virgin um, in the restaurant I would combine that with some clarified butter all right and that wasn't really hot yet but that's all right because there's the the idea here is you want to slow cook this anyways. So, here, hear the pan starting to sizzle. And so, the thing here is people will be like, man, it's taking so long, you gotta turn it up. No, this is a very slow, slow cooking process. The guy I was talking about the summit camp a lot lately. I was having, yeah, but it wasn't, I think it was on the show I was told that. Cops, they need to go to the boot camp program and get some like cognitive thinking or Facebook. I wrote it somewhere. Like, yeah, you guys are like, what? I'm like, yeah, man. Somebody was like saying, it takes eight years to be a lawyer. How can cops learn it in six months? There's another statement for you, you know? Reality. You know? We got to find a better way through all this. I know I might be pretty darn radical, but I've got some really good ideas on a better way through all this. And I'm radical in the sense that I don't pull any punches. I don't need to. I might die any moment, fall over at a seizure, be the last of me. I don't, you know what I mean? I, I better throw out all my love as fast and hard as I can and some truth and some people would be like no that didn't happen i'm like y'all was all like oh they got weapons of mass destruction let's go over to iraq we need to bomb them they killed us 9 11 uh, how many people how did they get that many people in the country who are on terrorist watch lists and then train them in jumbo jets and then coordinating the attack like that. It'll make no sense, man. How, who funded them? I know they were extremists. I know the dudes who did it were extremists, but who funded them? Who made it so they were possible to get into the country? I was watching a movie the other day with Denzel Washington. He had the ohm on his... Um, shirt in one scene right after the explosion when he was talking to all his people and um, you know it was right after the towers the first attempt to knock the towers down and then they come and knock them down for real didn't anybody wonder about that shit come on man can't pull my leg 911 means nothing in Arabic I'm sorry man their culture don't got no 911 but we do all right, I flipped it a little early. Temperature's a little high, so I'm going to turn my temp way down. Because I want to get a nice browning on this. But I wanted to see where it was. All right, so we're going to let it go for a while. Really get a good fry in there. I'm going to separate it up. Because it's got plenty of oil in there now. I don't want to add any more. That's another mistake is... People will add a lot of oil when they're working with hash browns and um, American fries and stuff like that. And um, you really don't need to. And fried rice, you got to have your pan hot. You put enough in there to caramelize, which doesn't take much. Maybe, uh, you know, a teaspoon of, uh, of oil and butter on each side of this. Well, I actually might have a little too much in there. But we're just going to let it gentle fry. All right, see you back.